Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy Gemini. We're getting messages from the ancient ones this week. So it's an interesting story how that card ended up in a deck that didn't it didn't belong in. Actually, the deck that I'm going to be using, which is my anim an animal or let's start that again. My animal oracle deck, and then I'm going to use my shadowscape tarot. So that's what we're going to do in this reading. It's a spiritual success and activation reading this week. So we're going to look at the area of your life that you are most disheartened in or feel the most blocked in. How does this block shape the course of your life? What can you activate in your life right now? And how can you move away from all of your worries? So let's get started, Gem Jones. All right, Gemini. I'm hearing Gemini in the sky. So I don't know what that means. Maybe you're going on a trip. Gemini in the sky. Actually, it's coming through like the Beatles song. Is the Beatles Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? Gemini in the Sky with Diamonds. I don't know what that means. That's for you. There you go. Dress yourself up. Go to bigger and higher places, my friends. God, you have such a big underline. What's going on here? Take a leap of faith, all right? Take a chance here. Truth transcends illusion, so see beyond the mundane. Let spirit be your guide, all right? Well, that goes hand in hand with seeing beyond the mundane. Taking a leap of faith here. Learn from the past. It kind of feels like not repeating mistakes from the past. Not repeating mistakes from the past. Co-create with spirit. So spirit really wants to work with you here. Set healthy boundaries and take time out. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe you will be in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> it has that feeling of not being involved in maybe more earthly um, avenues of life. It's doing something with spirit here. Take time out to do this, set some healthy boundaries. So there might be some things that you need to say no to, some things that you're feeling like you should say no to. Um, maybe some people are trying to cross some boundaries for you. You need to make that boundary healthy for you as well. All right, <laughs> see the cards in a minute. I wanna get it all out. You'll see it, don't worry. I'm telling you the truth. You will see the cards. You're like, how? How am I gonna see the cards, Cindy? I can't even see the table. I have to keep moving the cards because it's actually a big, um, a big layout. A little more space. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. Page of Wands at the bottom. Listen up. Take note. All right. You can see the cards. Oh, no, here. <laughs> see the cards. See that? All right, Jem Jem. Okay, the first thing we want to talk about here is where do you feel most disheartened about? Um, or where do you feel the most blocked in? I want to say 
you're feeling like, okay, you really have a very solid understanding of yourself. You understand yourself, you understand what you bring to the table, you understand your limitations, you also understand your expectations. <laughs> it's actually, it's a pretty interesting energy. Um, but I want to say you may not even be finding projects, situations, people, scenarios that live up to what you see in yourself, that what you can create. There might be some sort of feeling like um, always needing to kind of lower the bar of yourself a little bit. That's the mystery. It's like, well, what the heck is going on here? You know, everybody says you should um, be your best person. Don't make yourself small. Don't live your life in a small way. What's for you is for you um, and will resonate with you in a proper frequency. But I honestly feel like there's the mystery beyond you. It's like you understand yourself really, really clearly. But the mystery beyond that, like, well, what can you build with this energy? Like, as you look at yourself and I honestly, like, really it is. Um, and I'm not saying this from like trying to boost you in a very ego narcissistic way, but you have the magician and the hermit. So right there, that to me is like somebody who is really confident in what there is that they're creating. They've looked into themselves really deeply. They understand themselves in a very deep way. And then the three of pentacles. You know exactly what you bring into the table. You know what you can do. You know how to build things up. Um, but there's a freaking mystery. <laughs> like what? Where? I want to say, I feel like even some of you feel like there's parts of yourself that are wasted. Like the, And I mean wasted like you see maybe in, I don't know, it could be relationships. Like maybe you think that there's um, better opportunities for you in relationships, but you're not seeing them. Uh, these relationships could be romantic, they could be friendship, they could be, you know, who you have to work with at any given day, um, on a project, conversations that you have with people. Gemini is also a very intellectual energy, so you may even find, like, too, with the hermit, like, the deep thoughts that go on with that, that's mercurial energy, even though it's represented by Virgo, and just, like, what? <laughs> Where? Yeah, you say it, Larry. You say it. Did you see how Larry spoke up there? Yeah, you say it. I'm like, yeah, where? What? <laughs> okay. So, now this is where it gets. Okay, well, let's look at life in a deeper way here. Let's look at this challenge. How does this block shape the course of your life? Oh, what do you want? I got the door open. Will you want to go in the garage? All right, just a second. Okay, Gemini, sorry for the interruption. All right, how does this block shape the course of your life? Well, the really interesting, like, straight up answer is love is all around. So I want to say that it, it's, it, it's meant to make you see things in a way that you would not have seen them before. I mean, everything in life can kind of come out that way. Um, but there's something going on here about... You're meant to dis you're meant to move through the mystery. That's clear. I mean, your big block here is the mystery. Life is a mystery. And there may even be times where you just feel like mm, I think I feel like I want to say too. I'm going back to that this little pile with the magician and the hermit. And the three of pentacles with the mystery card. Life is a mystery. It honestly does have this feeling of um investing in things things of yourself and putting in like, I want to say pretty substantial investments. Um, it could be your time. It could be your emotions. It could be your drive. It could be your uh, money, you know, however this comes through and it not paying off a lot of the times. There's a kind of a feeling like, like, what is the point of all this? And even as I say that, it's kind of curious because I think it was Taurus had a reading about in their reading. It was um, things that, seemed like a waste of time later end up being like something that you can build on in the future you can't see it now and it does it's kind of funny how that resonates a little bit with yours but okay how this block sh shapes the course of your life is you it's kind of getting you to trust more and more in the in the process divine the universe existence <laughs> And at some point, I want to say even just like throwing your hands up and saying, whatever, God, whatever universe, you take it. 
I don't know where, what, where or what you want me to do perhaps with my energy or how I can grow it um, and who I can grow it with uh, to the greatest degree. You're meant to land in indecision. And it's so Gemini, isn't it? You <laughs> Really, that's how it does. It's shaping, it's shaping you to develop your intuition. It's shaping you to develop your faith. This is how it's showing up. And it's not what you can find outside of yourself to build upon, but what you can build within yourself. In some way, too, I want to say it's also building without expectation. That's how it's shaping the course of your life. That's how it's trying to shape the course of your life. All right. What can you activate in your life right now? Give up yourself. <laughs> and I know, right? Like, it just feels like from the cards that I'm looking at, you do give and you really don't understand. I get this feeling like finding yourself on the short end of the stick often. And the universe is trying to get you not to look at it as in terms of measurements. But it's just in terms of the the point of travel and also look at what you develop in yourself I think is the key here as well because if you're involved in projects where you feel like maybe you're carrying more than your own weight in this if you're involved in relationships where you feel like you're carrying more than your own weight in this you still come out like winning on the other end because you keep developing your character to its fullest capacity as much as you can. When you're carrying more than just yourself, you are carrying yourself forward. Be generous of spirit, right? What can you activate in your life right now? The Eight of Swords, Judgment, and the Tower. And do this in a big way. Don't hold back. Don't hold back your energy. Because it's almost like convincing yourself that um, you can't find the right place, the right purchase for, like purchase in terms of like grabbing onto something. To, to build on or where to share your energy with ends up causing you not to grow and expand. Don't expect to, um, to always meet your equal in situations and people and places. This is the really, I mean, to activate your life right now is to shake it the shit up. <laughs> the judgment of the tower card. Going from the Eight of Swords to Judgment in the Tower, nothing can hold you back. <laughs> that is nothing. Nothing can hold you back, Gemini. That's the thing that you can do in your life right now. Even, I know you saw these cards like down low, but just look at them. And I'm up close. Like this feeling of trapped or, you know, options, small. You small, whatever that is, just rise up and shake it up. Rise it up and shake it up. That's what you should do. There's a Gemini. Rise it up and shake it up. All right. How can you move away from your worries? I you see your shit clearly now. See everything clearly now. And this reading has made everything clear for you. You see clearly now. That's interesting. That's very, this reminds me of the Queen of Swords because... In the Wild Unknown Tarot deck, it is the um, the Snowy Owl is the Queen of Swords. And isn't that funny? That is the actual Gemini card out of the, um, the suits. All right. Wow. Chase, chase your dreams. Like, don't be distracted by things that make you A, feel small, things that make you feel like, am I wasting my time here? Don't be distracted by any of that. Don't be distracted by lower vibrational frequencies that are going on. Around you, you have the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. This is making your dreams come true. That's how you can move away from your worries. See clearly what your dream is and don't be distracted by anything less than. And plow forward. Jeez, just keep plowing forward. I'm really getting to with these cards, particularly with this Knight of Pentacles. Um... You know, because people can go through a lifetime and never, ever achieve a dream that they might have for themselves or a hope or a desire. What's better, getting to the end of the road and never having achieved it 
or knowing that you fought tooth and nail all the way to the end of that road and you achieved it five minutes before you died as opposed to not fighting for it and never getting it. Even if you get it five minutes before you exit, you did it, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that that's, you know, what's going to happen, but <laughs> just say like the Knight of Pentacles is here. So you know what? It's not necessarily a short road. It's not necessarily um, a quick road, but it is the road. What is the part about life is a mystery? That is you know what? All of their backs are turned here in the same direction. What's up with that? Look at this. Everyone, this like each one of these to me represents you in your quest for, you know, trying to unravel the mysteries of life in your life and where you're going. That's crazy. What's up with that? Where are they all looking? Why? Where are you focused on? What are you focused on? There's a, there is intent here. I really do see the intent of trying to manifest like strongly on your own, but then like trying to build and it's going, trying to build with things going in the same direction with you. Maybe people often distract you with their own, um, their own desires or where they want to take take life or projects and you find yourself pulled off of your own path and you're the, okay. The magician, the queen of wands, the hermit, all of this, the seven of swords are hiding the three of pentacles. Stabbing me, you little shit. The seven of cups. Yeah. There's the big fucking question. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't YouTube. I might have to bleep that. <laughs> Can you too? I tell you, Tyler's terror is not the same without him calling everybody out and swearing, cussing. Um, it kind of feels like you share the best parts of yourself um, in the early stages of whatever you're trying to manifest. You're the most creative. You're the most creative in the early stages of manifestation and then you get tucked away you get tucked away maybe in in your thoughts and you hold back and then you're confused about what you're supposed to build <laughs> so you know what honestly i would go with what you started out with like keep that queen of wands energy going what's the life is a mystery the ace of pentacles Two of Swords, the Tower. Well, that's, yeah, you got some. And the Queen of Swords. Life is a mystery. What do you do with this potential? Gosh, it honestly, it looks like really, like seeing potential, seeing a new beginning. Now what do you do with it? That's shit. Break it down. Now I see clearly. Wow. It's almost like there's a, there's a very scorpionic process here. And what I'm seeing, like that you go through and what life is for you. Love is all around. Okay, how does this block, how does this block shape the course of your life? Love is all around. I mean, that is really interesting too. I feel like it helps you find things that you normally wouldn't have found because you get pushed to find the devil, <laughs> devil, the page of wands and the eight of swords. You got to find you got to find what's for you in avenues that are not obvious because there are traps and there are pit holes along the way. Aren't you glad you tuned in for this one? But it's true. And it is like, this isn't one of those readings where, you know, everything is great. You're doing wonderful things. Well, it kind of is. Um, but it's talking about, you know, that I want to say even the down moments that we experience. And then what is the point of that? And where does that take you? And that always feels like the point of growth. What can you activate in your life right now? Be generous, break it all down, <laughs> rise up and cause like shock waves. Cause some shock waves. Let's see, huh? cause some shock waves, Gemini. Gemini should cause some shock waves. The emperor, the 10 of cups, the sun. I get 
Do we need to pull any more cards? Car shock waves. Break it all down. Shock the world. And you know, you're gonna find freaking happiness. Don't be small. Don't act small. Don't think small. Don't do small. Do it big and cause shock waves. That is what you can activate in your life right now. Grab life by the cojones. Squeeze them if you need to. Go. Probably not your own if that's what you're trying to do. All right. How you can move away from your worries is like to see shit clearly. You know, to see it. I want to ask about the Knight of Pentacles. That's what I'm going to ask about. The Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. What are you watching? The slow. See clearly. See the see process. See your process. See your process. See how you grow and develop. I kind of want to say there's like little things in this that I resonate with a bit too in this reading. Yeah, because um, it was a Gemini reading. I was noticing like from like almost four years ago. So very early on in my channel and people were commenting on it like recently. And I'm like, what is going on with this? So I just went and I clicked on it and um, so I'm watching it. And I'm like, who is this girl? <laughs> like, because there's been so many changes. And I thought and I even posted it in my community channel because I, you know, I, I feel like we can all find something profound about that. Like we look back on ourselves, but I, I mean, I'm fortunate that I can see myself through video and see how I've changed. And I just think about like everything under the bridge between those two points and kind of look back and say, I want to reclaim some of that person. I remember that person. She looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> but, and it's funny because I've, I've sat down and I did like a meditation before this reading and I'm just keeping it open. I can't change who I've become in my journey. That I can't do. I can't try to make myself go backwards, but I can certainly look at some of the pieces that have been left behind and try to pick them up and do really good things with them. So I kind of like, I want it because I have a Gemini rising too. So I kind of like, I feel like sometimes I'm trying to rise up to the energy that I read for you guys. Um, so yeah, I think it's kind of fascinating actually. <laughs> fascinating. So, because it is, it's observing your process. With the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. And see this clearly. Don't give up on dreams either. With this Knight of Cups. That kind of came through with the, you know, even if you achieve this. Five minutes before you take your last breath. Oh, man, at least you achieved it. Right? The Two of Cups. What would I be if I didn't clarify that for you? The Knight of the nine of wands i'm telling you if it's five minutes <laughs> take your last breath at least you did it i you got the star at the bottom which is reaching 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 just reach oh gemini in the sky with diamonds um ah, what did i want to say it's oh yeah i can't remember who quoted this once i've heard it before and i think it's it's genius it's like you know in this lifetime do you want to, I know, I guess it's a question for you, how you answer this. Do you want to hit your, your, your pine box into the dirt or in your little urn, whatever it's going to be for you or blowing in the dust? Do you want to hit that moment? It's more like sliding into your grave. Do you want to slide into your grave knowing that you used the best, the most potential, the, the most you could out of this body that you were gifted in this lifetime? Or... Did you, um, did you hold back on it all the time? Did you let it uh, kind of, maybe, I want to feel like uh, kind of shrivel up or just try to preserve it for, for what end? I mean, don't go out and do reckless things, obviously, right? I mean, there's some people that do, and then there's some people, athletes, really, you see them push it in <laughs> the later lives in arthritis and pain, but I don't know, there's something here about that, right? It's like, go big or go home. So anyways, that's what I got for you, Gemini. I'm going to go do the extended. In the extended, I'm looking at the cycle you are leaving, the cycle you are entering, what your focus will be in the void. So, you know, between these two points of time and then advice for you. Thank you so much, Gem Gems. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.